Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. A rare sight captured on camera from Yellowstone National Park. We hear the story behind a wolverine sighting. That's in a minute, but first. This afternoon, there's details surrounding the conditions inside the Montana State Hospital in Warm Springs. The hospital was recently placed on immediate jeopardy status. Current employees and former patients and advocacy leaders say conditions inside that facility are disgusting. They say beds don't have sheets and people are using other people's clothes because laundry isn't done in some cases, although in some other cases, the situation's much worse is what they're saying. Well, the White House is calling on oil companies to increase production. As gas prices surge, wells are coming back online in the Bakken, but there's a lack of workers and that's a challenge for the industry. Employees were let go when prices went down during the pandemic and now that they're going up again, officials say it's a challenge hiring new employees. Police are investigating a pretty gruesome animal cruelty case out of Billings. 35-year-old Michael Bigelow charged with shooting 14 dogs, many of them with their bodies frozen to the ground. The animals were found on his property and he faces up to two years in prison for each felony. In Butte, poverty is growing, so groups like Action Inc. are changing their approach to tackling the problem with a trauma-informed approach. The organization says the main issues are lack of affordable housing, low wages, and increased inflation along with the two-year pandemic. Affordable daycare continues to be a problem in our state, but that's why a new $15,000 grant to a daycare center in Twin Bridges is so helpful. Rural counties only have access to 23% of kids compared to 43% in urban counties. Daycare centers say their greatest problem are staffing shortages and funding shortfalls. That's today's leading look. Well, hopefully Tuesday treating you good so far as we make it toward the middle of the week. The next couple of days going to be our coldest Wednesday, probably going to be our coldest day before we start to see those temperatures rebound and warm up as we head toward the weekend. Highs today, you're going to see a lot of teens and 20s up in the northwest corner of the state, though, trying to get into the uh, upper 20s to low 30s, maybe in Kalispell trying to get above the freezing mark, but just a very frigid day today for most of the region. Again, tomorrow is going to be our coldest day for a good portion of the region before we rebound heading uh, into the weekend. Uh, adding on top of the snow they've already gotten with this system, we'll go with the North American model through tomorrow night. A couple more inches in Billings, uh, 3 to 6 in Bozeman. We could see 3 to 5 in Sheridan. If you're west and south uh, here of uh, Yellowstone County, a better chance you can see some of that accumulation. We'll take a complete look coming up. Well, as Yellowstone National Park celebrates its 150th anniversary, you might think wildlife guides have seen just about everything there is to see. But wolverines are the exception. There's only a handful of them in the park, and they've hardly ever been photographed, or at least that was the case up until this weekend when a father and daughter from California just happened to be in the right place at the right time. In Yellowstone National Park, you expect to encounter the unexpected. After all, Yellowstone is full of wonder and mystery. Pictures and words really can't describe it. But Carl Kemp and his nine-year-old daughter Maya can't stop talking about what they stumbled upon Saturday. It was really magical to see it, and Dad said that it was like the unicorn of Yellowstone. That unicorn was actually a wolverine right alongside the highway near Cook City. It was insane. Biologists estimate there's only a half dozen of them anywhere at any given time in Yellowstone. I've been working in the Yellowstone uh, National Park for 21 years now. Guide McNeil Lyons was just as shocked as the camps to see one, even more shocked to photograph it. I've never seen a, a picture quite like that in the lower 48 states. I have been wondering what's next because this is kind of like the, the top animal to see in Yellowstone National Park. It turns out there's only one other documented still photo of a wolverine in Yellowstone, a picture taken decades ago. McNeil has only seen one once, and that was through binoculars from more than a mile away. That's why I'm still kind of uh, in awe. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. Truly one of those magical moments. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. We were both speechless at the time. Both of us were kind of trying to stay quiet. Um, you know, he couldn't really hold his reaction. 
And not only did the Kemp see the Wolverine, they also encountered a pack of wolves. Not bad for a weekend visit. We saw everything except grizzly for the most part. And so it's no surprise they're already planning their return. Although they know this visit will be nearly impossible to top. We were riding on that high all the way for the rest of the trip. We couldn't wait to, you know, for the, we, we didn't want the trip to end, but we couldn't wait for it to end to, you know, kind of tell everybody about it. In Yellowstone National Park, Kagan Harsha, MTN News.